a great beginning pendulum charts and so forth to use all the critical ones it gives you a nice big board and then you move into the real basic psychic stuff the real basic psychic stuff is sending and receiving colors or just feeling you know you put the color cards together and let me demonstrate that you've got color cards so you pick one of each Did I get that orange one there? Is that pink? Yeah. Yellow. Let's just do it with three. I think there's more than that, but you get these cards together, you generally shuffle them, and then you say, well, you hold your hand over them. What color is this? And you know, generally you put the colors in front of you that you have to choose from. And maybe you want to pick one card out, and then you go, what is that energy? Again, always use the left. Energy flows through the... It doesn't matter if you're left or right-handed. This has been researched recently and proven to be 100% factual, so that's why I do it. In general, I used to always do it. Energy flows through the left and out the right, even if you're left-handed or right-handed. So what you may want to do is then feel this. Does this and this feel... And this is how you're increasing your sensitivities. So you increase your sensitivities, then you're able to... Um, actually um, start opening up those psychic centers to empower yourself and to start manifesting. But you've got to pump the occult gym. I tell people all the time, the mind gym is open. Go in and start using it. Um, you have to do that. You have to center yourself. You have to stimulate those areas. You should be stimulating and working with pendulums. Extremely important. How do you measure things? You can measure toxicities. You can get many answers. You can pick numbers, all with pendulums. They are great tools to take out from the astral, the cosmic, and the inner energies that know the truths of life. Well, how do they come out? You want to hear things popping in your head, telling you what to do? Well, a lot of times that's schizophrenia, not necessarily good. Um, but there are ways to channel it in more positive, interesting, and less threatening ways. And that's through a pendulum to get questions. The answers are out there. The energy is there. You have to channel it in, and you should be using it. There are many practical things, like, should I take this vitamin? Um, and you can hold the vitamin in your left hand. Let's say this is the vitamin. You hold it in your left hand. You then hold the pendulum and ask, is this good for me? and you get a yes or a no. And if it is good for you, how many tablets should I take? So this is a great way to save money and also get the effects you need. You know, most people uh, probably take too many vitamins and that's not good for you. Some people may be not taking enough because it's not what you take, it's what you assimilate. Very important to understand that. And maybe you don't need that all the time. You take high doses for a while, you've had enough. You don't need to take more. You need to cut down. Now, the pendulum can tell you that. The pendulum can tell you just about anything. Once you're good with it, you can check important information, check energy fields, etc. Is this item, even a metaphysical item, putting off good energy? I've done this with a lot of these haunted items that uh, you buy off of eBay and other places and found that they have a lot of bad energy in them. Some have absolutely nothing. You know, these are basically rip-offs. So you have to be very careful of bogus products. But you also have to ask, well, is this product good for me? And a pendulum will tell you that. Maybe this product is good for a lot of people. Maybe it works for most everybody. But does it work for you? Is it good for you? Can you analyze things? Certainly can. You can analyze if there are certain bacterias and other problems. All this can be done. You can analyze a person's blood by having a drop of the blood and putting it on paper and holding it in your left hand and then asking the pendulum. Now, this can be checked to see if you can use scientific results to confirm what you, your pendulum told you. Really exciting stuff here that you need to uh, look into and understand. So this kit does it. This kit has everything. Now we have much better kits that train you in many different areas and give you cards and everything else. Um, but you can never have enough of these. I keep telling people you need to vary your practices dramatically and never ever get bored. Never ever do the same thing all the time. Very very 
change, use different uh, things, um, use different charts, use different pendulums. Very important because your higher self is uh, has the attention span of a fly. It needs new stuff all the time to work at high levels. So always keep that in mind. Of course, J.B. Ryan, the famous uh, researcher, uh, found this out himself in very dramatic ways. So if they had more fun kits like this back then when he was doing his research, they probably would have got better results. But, you know, this is still very limited. But it's great for pyramids. It's great as a beginner. And uh, these are readily available in many, many different sources. So I hope you enjoyed this. We have numerous more fantastic training tools and vintage exciting games coming.